we're going to go and uh, do a little tuning and uh, talk about a little bit of security for eGrip. I've gone into GNS and I've added two routers, uh, nothing too crazy here. And we're going to go into one of those routers and do some tweaks. So we're going to go into global config mode. And I'm going to go into the interface that I connect to another eGrip router on. And in this example, I've been connected with FA00 to the other router. If you have a bunch of routers uh, connected to one, then you'll have to do this for each interface. Uh, you could use the interface arrange command if that helps you. Uh, it's up to you. One of the things we can tweak is the bandwidth percentage for eGrip, uh, which by default is 50% for uh, bandwidth percentage usage by eGrip on an interface. So what that means is if you have a very slow interface for some reason, like a very, sl very slow serial connection, uh, you could potentially not have enough bandwidth for eGrip to keep your routing table up to date across that link. So you could adjust the amount of traffic that eGrip may use up on that band on that interface. So what we could do is say IP bandwidth percent eGrip, and then we're going to have to define what autonomous system. Remember when we were going into router eGrip, you have to define what AS you're def you're creating. So eGrip one and then the percentage value. So instead of 50, we could say 75. That's one thing we can tweak. If you wanted to do that for IPv6, same command, but just IPv6 in the front. We can also tweak uh, the hello timer, the hello interval, I guess you could call it. Uh, we do the same thing, egrip one, and then how many seconds between hello transmissions. So we could say every two seconds. Uh, you can also tweak uh, the hold for eGrip 1, and you can say the seconds before it's down. So the hold timer is, you haven't spoken to me in however many seconds we've configured, should I mark you as down? So you can say, uh, yeah, and say 10 seconds. So that's five times it's missed in this configuration. If it's every two seconds and you miss five times, that would be a 10 second time. It's now considered down. If you wanted to do those with IPv6, uh, again, same thing, just it would be the IPv6 in the front. You can also go into router egrip, and we can set the number of paths that can be used for load balancing. So normally it would be uh, two. We can change that and make it more than that. So you can go in and say maximum paths, and then however many maximum paths you want. So you could say, I want to use four paths at once. So that's an option for you as well. Security-wise, uh, we can do MD5 authentication. So similar to OSPF, we can go in there and make a keychain and then apply that to our uh, interface for eGrip. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, for those of you on uh, Packet Tracer, the, depending on the version, it, you may not have these commands. So might be better to use GNS in this uh, example. I'm not sure why they don't have it in there necessarily, but for some of the models, but uh, it's not. So we go to keychain and we'll name our keychain something, uh, test. And we're going to make a key, make our first key. We're going to uh, create a string, which is our password, so it could be Cisco. I'm then going to go into my interface that I want to apply it to, and I'm going to say my authentication for eGrip, mode eGrip, AS1, is going to be MD5, and then I'm going to apply that keychain. So authentication keychain, eGrip1, and then the keychain uh, that I made. So that was, uh, what did I call that, test. So now I'm using that MD5 hash password as my authentication method to ensure the other side is also allowed to discuss eGrip with me. So if I had the other side configured as well, we would uh, properly communicate using that keychain. So those are the steps to go through to configure the keychain. Remember these things are per interface, uh, not the only thing that we had to do within uh, router eGrip, the router config mode, uh, was the number of maximum paths for that autonomous system. So everything else is uh, interface based. So please remember that.